I'm holding BlackBerry Z10. This is a working model. This is a model I dropped. We're going to tear it down. All right, so back comes off easily. Of course, with an iPhone, you could never take the back off. This guy just pops right off of here. That bit of technology works uh, with your, with the case, I believe. So when you slip it in, it'll turn off, which is a very old school BlackBerry, uh, BlackBerry technology. Works right through there. That's the logo. Gigantic battery, of course. Which, by the way, uh, does not provide as much battery life as, say, an iPhone 5. It tends to run out a little bit faster. We've got a spot for the SIM card. This is for your micro SD card. And there's a bunch of tiny little Torx screws. I have with me a little screwdriver set. If you don't have one of these little screwdriver kits, you need to get yourself one if you ever want to take anything apart. Because no bit of technology is screwed together with regular flathead or Phillips head screws. It's all torque screws, always. All right, so now, got all the screws out. It looks like there might be little tabs along here. Yeah, so that's the hidden screw. Now that's out. This comes apart a little bit more easily now. Okay, looks like a microphone. Yeah. I think that's the, uh, the mic. So there's more screws here, and they're even smaller, if possible, and I don't think. There's a camera. It's interesting, it's housed. And that's just a model number for the camera. Five, so I don't know if you can see that. Okay. This is the forward-facing camera. And then uh, a lot of these components are, are really covered up, so it's hard to see what's what. We can try and uh, peel away some of these things. Let's see what this guy is. It's probably the main processor. Uh, guess who makes this processor? So that's Samsung. That must be the dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor from Samsung. Uh, what's notable about the BlackBerry screen is it uses touch-on technology. Why is that important? It's, there's no space between the touch screen panel, the LCD and the glass. They've compressed it down to take out the space. It's one of the reasons that when this screen broke, while the LCD continued to work because the touch is affixed to the glass, it, the touch component no longer worked. So this, we'll see if we can get any of this apart. Here. So some of these components are, look like they're labeled with tiny QR codes. Okay. This is probably the main connector that really runs the screen. You can see it flips underneath here. So it goes, this is really what's driving the screen right in there. This is not Gorilla Glass, by the way. I have that verified. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of uh, glass it is, but you know, it's, it's done in such a way that less reflective reflectance and also less protection. Drop an iPhone, crack the screen, it will still work. Drop this phone, crack the screen, and you're done more. And basically what you're seeing back there is just, and that's the hole, if you can see in there. But that's the, so as I said, the, this goes to the top of the screen. And that's sort of the, the panel. It's flexible. And I think the touch part, I'm guessing the touch part is really affixed to that. What's interesting is this part here, this part is not scratched, is not uh, broken. So, 
All right, so what have we learned? Well, first of all, got the motherboard. We can see all the major components. We can see the dual core CPU. Somewhere hidden under here is the RAM. We found a nice little camera, eight megapixel camera component. Love to try and install that elsewhere. Uh, the rest of it's really not meant to be taken apart. I mean, as you can see, you know, the crack screen, behind the crack screen, it's, it's really flattened out. So, you know, all the components are tied together. The, uh, the flexible LCD panel is not actually broken, uh, which is one of the reasons that the screen continued to work, but the transparent touch panel, which is connected, is basically sandwiched to the glass, was destroyed, which meant that the phone could no longer work as a touch device. Uh, otherwise, the you know, this body, well constructed, you know, couldn't take it apart really. I think it's, it's molded. I think it's really carved out of a single piece of aluminum is what it appears to be. Uh, but the most important part is that screen and, and that's where I have a concern. That really needs to hold up a little bit better than this. That's our BlackBerry Z10 teardown. Let us know your comments below.